Big Sue and it is going to be Engineers Week 2021 and I'm going to be doing our Ingenious Engineers show and one of the engineers I'm going to be looking at is Robert Boyle and Robert Boyle was able to create a vacuum machine and we're going to do some crazy experiments in that vacuum device but today when we talk about vacuums we're really looking at vacuum, <laughs> vacuum cleaners and uh, and the first way that I could explain how a vacuum cleaner works is actually looking at this at a straw another scientist I'm going to be looking at is going to be Joseph Black Joseph Black discovered the gas that we have in this drink here. Yep, carbon dioxide. Now I want to get this delicious liquid into my tummy without me lifting the can any further than it is. So to do that, I'm going to use a straw. And then I'm going to have to create a vacuum. And to do that, I have to make the air move faster in my mouth than the air round here. When it moves faster, there's a low pressure point. Less gas molecules are there. Mmm, <gasps> mmm, yummy, that was good. So we have high pressure here, pushing down on top of the cola, pushes it up the straw, and then I can drink it. Let's look at this in a little bit more detail. This is our straw, that section here, where I'm going to get the air to go faster. It's not this time going to be in my mouth. I'm just going to spin it. Yeehaw! And it's going to go not into a can of cola. It's going to go into my pretend glass of milk. And milk is made up of lots of wonderful molecules. We've got the air pressure pushing down. And I'm going to get this to move fast. So that means the gas molecules here move out of the way. So there's less of them there. Let's see what happens when we get a difference between a high pressure region and a low pressure region. Engineers Week, join me. Oh my goodness, we've made so much mess. And what can I use to clean it up? Oh yes. Yeah. 